Welcome to another episode of Factorio. On this one, we're getting, going to continue on getting towards whoo, railways. But to get railways, we need engines. However, I also want, boom, steel furnaces, because their crafting speed is two, whereas stone furnaces are crafting speed of one. And uh, yeah, so I decided to go ahead and... Uh, Oh, how do I put this? Um, after Logistics 2 is done researching, get the uh, ba -ba steel furnaces going, then go after engines, and then finally get down here to railway, boom, engines. So we get the railways, then automated rail transportation, and then rail signals. And just still making that push here so we can start building. Ah, but to help speed things along, it's time to expand this. So we shall take uh, this. Oh, 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 what a faux pas in the save. Okay, and oh crap. Yes. Ooh, that's gonna look awfully ugly there. Okay. What if we just take this side without those poles? Alright. And we'll drop that to lay it out. Bring this on over. Drop some more uh, in fast inserters. And again, just to get this moving and everything is powered there, so we're good. Oops. And, and oh, oh, that's right. That's because this one's wow. Oh well, you know what? It's going to work. Because this is only temporary. So we'll help speed up the process. There. Okay, got that going. Relieved on that one. And I'm not sure what I was going to work on before this. Let's take a look at the map. How are we doing? Now let's see, we've got oil here here and here nothing has attacked us yet oh there's some more oil copper we're good on for now but we got this iron ore that we can tap into 1.1 1.7 and 5.8 hmm okay let's Let's see what else we got. Oh, and one of the things I've actually been thinking about doing through this playthrough is staying just with the transport belt at 15 items per second. And there we go. Logistics 2 finished. All right, let's get these guys started. Boom. So then that way, oh, what are these going to take to make? Steel plate and stone brick. Okay, steel plate. We've got building right up here, coming down on this line, and stone brick. Oh yeah, that's right, we got it all the way over here. Alright, that's re researching pretty damn quick. Oh. Uh, we'll get some stone brick. Make some furnaces. I don't know, how many do we need per stone furnace? Oh, oh, that's right. We got the ones at 30. Hmm. I don't know. I might have to think to make it easier at doing 30 items per second instead of 15. I don't know, something to think about. Okay, but this is going to take 10 stone brick per steel furnace. Okay. All right. How many how many stone bricks did I pick up? Ooh, yeah, ten. Oh, we're gonna need more than that. Okay. Eh, that's a damn good start. Did that give us three hundred? Yeah, I think we're good for thirty of them. Yeah. All right, we'll come over here get some steel plate. Ooh, look at it! It's just pumping it through it. But I know we're not keeping up with the production of the science packs to stay there. 
Oh, that's right. We got the end of the line over here. Yeah, I see it just drained. Almost. But it's still holding out pretty damn good. Oh, steel plate. Okay. It was 200 and what was the recipe again? Oh, 10, oh, six per. Okay. And so we got one, two, three, four, one, two. All right. Oh, well, belts I could always use too. If I can hit the right button, there we go. Come on, 92%, come on. Let's see, that is going to be right here. So it should pop in somewhere in here. There it is. 47. Let's uh let's see that was one, two, three, four, five. And then right clicking should give us five more. So that's 15, 20, 25, 30, something like that. Okay. Next on the research, we need the engines. Ooh. Yeah, we can start automating those. Oh, but we don't have the recipe for it yet. But we can set it up. Yep, okay. Engines, boom. That's going to be another 100 on the research. Now. Hmm. These steel furnaces will take up a little bit more room compared to the stone furnaces. Okay. Thanks. That's a two by two, and this what two by three. All right. Hmm. Yeah, because this. Oh, actually. Oh, will these just replace it? Uh, let's find out. Oh, they will. Oh, nice. So I'm not even going <gasps> to... I won't even have to change any of this or any of that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. There we go. Oh. Yes. I got six of them left. You guys are working the hardest. And we got some for copper, so let's go handcraft those just to help speed that up. Yeah, there's the engines. Okay, I gotta remain calm. And more stone brick. Oh wow, no, we can make a... Uh... Yep, stone brick, definitely. And eventually I'll get these automated. Well, no, probably not, because I want to get to the electric furnaces. And let's see. Oh, 700. I think that should be A-OK. -okay. <laughs> and there we go. More steel plate. Yeah, that we can tent. Let's see, we can put some more miners on there. Definitely there on the copper. Let's get uh, some more of these guys built. There we go. Now, boom, engines. Yes, steel plate, iron gears, and pipe. Okay, let's get engines uh, line set up while that's being researched because that is going to take engines, electronic circuits, and steel plate. And we got all that, so we need to start producing the engines so we can make the locomotives. And the rails, ooh, they're going to take stone, steel plate, and iron stick. Okay, but let's get the engines going. Uh, where are we? Boom. Oh, oh. Nice. You do it right here. So there's the engines. So we need steel plate. 
Oh, what's crafting time? 10 seconds. Okay. Regular inserter. Um, and gears and pipe. Okay, so we take... Well, we'll find out if we can pull it off of right there. I'm wondering if this inserter for the long hand reach... Long-handed inserters. If this inserter can pull it off of this guy right there. So let's try this. And yes, it can. Nice. Okay. Now we'll bring this down. And... Hmm. Wanted to direct insert both of those. Nope, nope. What if we do this and this? This will be gears. And then this will be pipes and pipes. Or just iron plate. And this will be pipes. But then we take... That's there, that to there. And now to pull these guys oh, out of here. Alright, let's take a long handed. Put that there. We'll take a wood box. Then reverse this. And that will drop both of those items in there. Oops, but uh, I also need to take him out of here. <laughs> oh, damn it. I forgot they're going to be mixed. Ooh, that's not going to be very good. Okay, so let's... Actually, we'll break this here. to go the other way, doesn't it? Damn. Hmm. Hmm. Designing on the fly once again. Okay, so let's try this. Okay. Boom. This will be pipes. This will be gears. Then you can take it underground to like that. Drop. Pipes onto there. Yes, and drop the gears onto this. And then deliver all of it down to here for the engines. Okay, so now this. Oh, no, how about this? Damn. No, no, no. We'll direct insert it. Actually. What if we... Put that there. Move this down just to make it a little bit more symmetrical. Oop. Move it one away and direct insert both into it to make gears. Then this can be steel plate. 
And if we have to, we can then make that out. There we go. And we will drop that right there for engines. And we'll cap it at one for now. Okay, so this uh, doesn't quite. Yes, it'll get all of that. And that will get all of that. And there it is. Engines being made. Drop the first one in. Oh, 10 seconds is taking forever. Oh no, it's going to be 20 because it's a 0.5 crafting speed for the automation assembly machine once. There it is. Engine's done. All right, then. Railway. Yes. Think. Ah, okay. Man, you know, where's the... We got assembly machine twos coming up. Yeah. We could definitely do that. Okay, but job right now is to get the rail railway going. Okay, so rails first are going to take stone, steel plate, and iron stick. Ooh. We got stone way over here. And yet we've got... And I'm not worried about spaghettifying this. I just want to keep it tight for right now because then with the railways, I've got some blueprints from the previous season that I would like to use. And then we can start laying that out and go from there. Okay. Hmm. Stone, steel, plate, and iron stick. Let's bring the stone over here. Uh, let's go get some more belts. What do we got in there? Uh, 500? Sure. Oh, yep. Keeping up. The belt's full for both of them. Nice. Oh, oh, see, I got so carried away with the uh, railways that I forgot to replace these other furnaces. All right, here we go. And I finish the iron. And you get none. There we go. Just double the output without expanding the footprint. Stone. We've got to bring stone over now. Oh, uh, do I got some furnaces? Uh, yeah, I got like 41 of them. Um, you know what? Just so that we're all on the same page, let's do it. There we go. <gasps> da, da, da. Let's drop another miner right here. Yeah, 3,600 of them. Yeah. There we go. And, damn. I know I'm going to have to have both of them feeding into it. Okay, so if we take that and that. That's going to come up here. That's going to go there. That will go in there. And we'll run it. around this coal All right, so what if we take Yeah, 
No, oh, nothing on that one. You know what? The way I had this laid out, I could just butt them up right up against each other and not have that space there. Okay, because then we could drop the pole there and there. And take this belt. And side load it there. Okay. Then this other belt. Bring the stone over. There we go. Oh. What's next on the railways? Uh, bum bum. Yes, we're going to need it for the train state train stop i keep on calling it a station but it's a train stop so we'll start that one then after it we'll get that one for the signals okay railway empire is on the way whoops hmm what does the map look like so if we come yeah, we can bring the steel, which is right there, bring it on. No, no, we'll just bring the stone over and we'll continue the assembly spaghetti right there. Okay. Oh, cool, cool, because it's going to take iron sticks and steel plate. Is that correct? Yep, stone, steel plate, and iron stick. And iron sticks take iron plate. So we're good there. Locomotives and cargo wagons. Okay, cool. Alright, let's bring it down. Bring that down. Bring that down. Uh, maybe not quite that far. Then, actually, we could just bring them both up this way, couldn't we? Yes, we could. So, there, we'll break it. Oh, come on. And a bat there. To have iron sticks. We can direct insert it into there. And this is going to be. Oh, there it is, there it is. Okay, finish this, finish this. Stone. Okay, so we can bring the stone up outside here. Have a long-handed inserter there. And this will bring in the steel plate. And this will be a box for rails. And we'll cap it at 1,000. No, no, let's make it 500. 4, 500. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yep, that should be plenty. Okay, we now have train stops available. Rail signals. Boom. Get going. And then stone to right there for that guy. Let's bring the power. There we go. All right. Let's get stone up there. There. Okay. Rails are done. Next. Let's see, what do we got? Uh, locomotives. 
train stops. And those guys. Let's get locomotives. Yeah, we'll get the locomotives going. There's the rail. You know what? Probably should upgrade that to... There we go. Fast inserter. Got it. Engines are right here. 26 of them have been made. Okay, locomotives. To pull things, we need steel plate, electronic circuits, and engine units. Oh boy. Electronic circuits are here. Again, embrace, embrace the spaghetti. What if we do this? Side load that. Mm -hmm. Then we take. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Um, actually, we could do this. Take an underground. There we go. We're getting there. Okay, so what do we need for locomotives? Steel plate, electronic circuits, and engine units. Okay, engine units will be coming out right here. So we can drop them. Actually, we could drop them right here on a belt. Steel plate, electronic circuits, and engine units. We're going to have all three right coming in here. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Let's uh, embrace the spaghetti. Because then, actually, we can just put that there, stop it. Boom. <gasps> Rail signals and chain signals. Okay, locomotives. Okay, locomotives there. Steel plate and engine units. There's engine units. There's steel plates. <laughs> and now let's get electronic circuits up there. Okay, you're gonna have to get moved. But we'll take you out a little bit and drop you right there and oh did it pick up all of it okay there we go and we'll bring this there we go Then this will output there, and we'll need one stack. And I, there are five to a stack. Okay, so let's power this thing up. Boom, boom. And we will drop in electronic circuits, engines, and steel plate that we have. There it goes. Okay, so, yep, not fully efficient, but it's gonna work. Okay, okay, rail signals, done. Automation two. You know what, we're gonna, we're gonna finish this up on this episode. I just need to get cargo wagons. We need iron plate, steel plate, and gears. Cargo wagons, they're gonna be separated a little bit, but we'll have them. Okay, steel plate, iron plate. Steel plate, or iron plate, steel plate. And we'll direct insert gears from here. Um, bum, bum, bum. Gears, there it is. And we will drop them 
right next to that. Oh, it's a crafting time. Oh, one second each. Oh, you know what? Let's, uh... Nope, nope, this is fine. Because over time, this will build up, just like the locomotives. Because it's dependent upon the engines right here, so that's that's okay. You can only put one locomotive at a time. And there's the cargo wagons! Okay. Made it. Locomotives. Rails. And cargo wagons. One step closer to making a railroad empire. Oh, yeah. Right. Nice and tight. There it is. Oh, oh, can we go in again? Nope, that's as tight as we can make it. Okay, thank you for joining me on this journey in Factorio. And as always, enjoy life and be safe. And drink the dew.